Behind every bill you hold in your hands lies a fascinating, often overlooked story of almost scientific precision. Much more than just a medium of exchange, each banknote is a masterpiece of technology, design, and security. It all begins with a surprising fact, US banknotes are not made of paper. They are crafted from a precise blend of 75% cotton and 25% linen. This unique mix gives them their recognizable texture and exceptional resistance to wear and tear. But that's only the beginning. From the very first stage of production, random security features are embedded directly into the material itself. Tiny red and blue fibers, invisible at first glance, but permanently woven into the fabric. As denominations increase, so does the complexity. Higher value bills contain ultraviolet security threads that glow under UV light, each denomination shining with its own unique signature. Then comes special ink designed to shift color depending on the viewing angle, an added layer of security and sophistication. These seemingly tiny details all serve one crucial mission, making counterfeiting nearly impossible. Each glance at a bill actually reveals a work of high precision, perfected over decades. If these hidden secrets intrigue you, and if every detail sparks your curiosity, then don't waste a second. Subscribe, hit the bell, and get ready to be amazed by the unseen stories behind everyday objects. The creation of a bill begins long before printing. Specialized artists hand draw every element, portraits, lettering patterns, before they are engraved onto steel plates using a tool called a pantograph. Every curve and every line is reproduced with surgical precision. These engraved elements are then combined like a puzzle through a process known as siderography, which transfers them onto a master printing plate. From this plate, hundreds of copies are made for mass production. The $100 bill for instance, contains a unique 3D blue security ribbon embedded directly into the paper. When tilted, the printed patterns appear to move, a powerful safeguard against counterfeiting. Even more impressive is the microprinting, microscopic words and phrases hidden in places like the portrait's collar or the edges of numbers, invisible to the naked eye without magnification. Starting with a $2 bill, offset printing is added. This multi-layer process deposits multiple colors on both sides in a single pass. Y. The $1 bill is the only exception, going straight to intaglio printing, where high-pressure presses add raised details like portraits, numbers, and official seals. This tactile texture is nearly impossible to replicate. After printing, bills are far from finished. They receive serial numbers, seals from the Federal Reserve and Treasury, and in higher denominations, color-shifting inks. Every bill passes under ultra-high-speed cameras capable of scanning 25 sheets per second, front and back, detecting even the tiniest flaw. Defective bills are removed, while valid ones are saved. This ensures that every note entering circulation meets strict quality standards. Sheets are then cut by automated guillotines into the exact standard size, 6.14 by 2.61 inches. Bills are stacked in bricks of 100 banded, and packed into metal cases called skids. At this stage, they are still not in circulation, they remain the property of the Federal Reserve. Some can stay locked away for years before being released to banks, credit unions, and ATMs. If a bill is suspected of being counterfeit, the US Secret Service steps in to protect the nation's financial integrity. Coins may seem simpler, but their creation is equally fascinating. Each begins with raw materials, copper-plated zinc for pennies, cupronickel for other denominations. Long metal strips are punched into blanks, then heated to 950 degrees Celsius in a process called annealing to make them malleable. Blanks are cleaned, dried, and edged using an upsetting machine before moving to the striking stage. Here, massive presses applying up to 560 tons of pressure imprint the designs on both sides. Some coins require multiple strikes to achieve sharp details. Each coin is inspected, defective ones are discarded, while the rest are weighed, counted, rolled, and shipped to Federal Reserve Banks, ready to circulate. But money production is not without controversy. It costs between 3 and 6 cents to mint a single penny, over three times its actual value. By comparison, a $100 bill costs only 16.25 cents to produce. Environmental concerns have also been raised. Chemical leaks from minting facilities, such as those in Philadelphia, have contaminated surrounding soil and groundwater. 
safety inspections have uncovered dozens of failures, and counterfeit coins, often of foreign origin, have entered circulation in recent years. So the next time you hold a bill or coin, look at it differently. It's not just money, it's the result of centuries of craftsmanship combined with advanced technology. An everyday object, yes, but also a fusion of science, art, and history. And who knows? Maybe the bill or coin you hold today will one day be worth far more than the number printed on it.